hey guys so I was gonna film this video tomorrow but the spirit of filming got into me and um, I'm going to do this today I'm really excited because this is going to be a full drugstore tutorial full drugstore look using all of my favorite products minus two that I'm trying out they're still drugstore but I want to try them today because I just bought them today and I'm excited um so I'm going to tell you, I'm using all of my favorite things or things that I like, um, minus some Maybelline. You may notice there's no Maybelline because Maybelline is my favorite drugstore brand, but I plan on doing a all a one brand tutorial on Maybelline very soon, like this week. Hopefully I have like two more things to buy. So that's why I just didn't put Maybelline in. That way you wouldn't see any repeats. But all this other stuff, I still love it. Um, but I am should do without the Maybelline because I'm going to do that. They're going to have their own video. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. My brows, um, this is one of the new things. The NYX, by the way, at Ulta, starting today, L'Oreal NYX, Neutrogena, and Physicians Formula are all 40% off. So I got the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade, and so I did my eyebrows with that today. Um, I like it. I need to get my eyebrows done, but that's what I'm trying out. But what I would do on a regular basis, I use, which I just bought another one, the NYX micro brow pencil and that's what I use to do my brows but today I wanted to use that um, I highlight my brows with a mixture of I forgot the two colors of the LA girl pro conceal I made this little jar mixture of concealer a long time ago and that's what I do the highlight with but still drugstore what I set my brows with is the elf clear brow lash mascara and so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit on just don't I ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna go to Walmart. It's like 6, 7 30 in the evening. I'm home by myself. Nelson's gone home, and my brother, they're not back from Connecticut. They went on another college trip. Didn't go this time. But anyway, so I was like, let me film. Okay, on my face, I use a lot of different moisturizers and stuff from day to day, but what I've been using is the L'Oreal Paris Youth Code Texture Perfector Day Night Cream as my moisturizer. It's a moisturizer. And I put on some Olay Fresh Effects Swirled Mattifier. I've really been using this, as you can see. I really like this. So that's what I put on my face um, before I do my makeup. That's what I've really been using. Made me look a little ashy. And because I usually set my face with my Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray, um, but I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray just so I can... I like spraying my face with something before I even start nowadays. I like I like doing that so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started I'll throw in some suggestions if I remember to along the way um let me wet my sponge hold on okay so for my face primer, my favorite drugstore is the Rimmel stay matte um some other suggestions are the NYX shine killer and the NYX pore filler I'm looking at my primers now and the hard candy primers are really good as well but I'm going to put this on just a little bit. All right. Um, I guess I'll, this will be a talk through. So, um, okay. I'm going to put my foundation on. I'm going to use my Real Techniques sponge because the Beauty Blender is not drugstore. This is about $5.99. $6.99 in the drugstores, Walmart, but I actually saw it on clearance at Walgreens. I got one for $1.49. So check your Walgreens clearance section. Why they're going on clearance, I don't know. But I wet it, plumped it up, and the foundation I'm going to put on is my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation.
I'm gonna go ahead and use the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Well, you know, I'm highlighting. And this is Warm Honey. And I'm gonna also go in only on the under eye parts with the Physician's Formula. What is this? I always forget the name of this. Nude Wear Touch of Glow Highlighting Concealer. Okay, so to set my under eye, I usually use my, just a favorite, the Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder in the very, very, very lightest shade, which is called Golden Almond Finish, but I am trying out a new, this is one of, the, this is the second new thing I just bought today, it's the NYX, H, NYX HD Finishing Powder, and this is in the shade Banana, and um, I can use my Ben Nye Banana Powder, um, I'm just hoping it's like that because, um, I don't know, a loose powder can be a little bit more messy. So if this does the same thing and it's cheaper, um, that'd be awesome. So I'm just using this. This is new. Um, seems to set it really well. All right, and then I'm going to go over the rest of my face with my Real Techniques powder brush. The name of this brush, I do not know what it was. Um, came in a set. Um, and I'm going to go in with my Black Radiant Soft Focus in Milk Chocolate Finish. And that's going to be my powder for my face. Time to buy a new one. All right, clean up the powder. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my eyes and then I'll come back to my face. All right, so my eyelash glue is still drying, but this is the eye look that we're going to do. Um, I wanted to do something more dramatic, more glamorous, because usually some people, when they think of drugstore, they think they can't get these you know, chic, couture, glam, high, smoky, super dark, super dramatic I, um, looks and makeup looks with drugstore makeup. But lots of misconception with a lot of, um, oh gosh, drugstore makeup. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into the eye. The eye primer, uh, oh, and I lied. I'm using one Maybelline item. <laughs> the eye primer is the LA Girl Pro Prime. Um, this was like the first eye primer I think I've er I ever bought. And this is like $2 at beauty stores. You can get them online. Um, I tried to avoid using things you had to order off of line. Even though there's some great items at drugstore prices. Like ColourPop, Coastal Scents. Um, there's a lot of items you can like use online shops. But I wanted to do everything. Use as many things as possible where you could just go in the store and buy them. So, I'm trying y'all. I'm trying. I know how it is. 
I know how it is. If you see something that you really, really love and you're like, I'm not about to make an order for that one thing that she used. So we're going to go ahead and get our piece of tape. Um, put my tape dispenser. All right, we're going to go ahead and get our piece of tape and we're going to put that on the outer part of the eye. If you're against tape and you can make a straight line, God bless you. So I'm going to press that down. We're going to press that down. Let's see. All right. So ooh, for my shadows, I'm going to be using all of Milani. In the drugstore, there are some good palettes. Don't get me wrong. But that's one thing that the drugstore is lacking. Great large palettes. I know L'Oreal just came out with two nude palettes. Maybelline has like quads and the nudes palettes. Um, but their brights and smokes aren't that good. So like I'm going to use some singles. I know I know a lot of people are like singles. You got to buy all the colors. But Milani is cheap. CVS and Walgreens always has sales with them. Buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one half off. So I have some individuals. Um, this is my palette that I'm making. I've depotted a lot of them. But I have like eight new ones that I need to depot. So I'm going to tell you the names. All of them start with Bella. Um, so... I'll just tell you the name and, you know, put Bella in front of it. But these are great shadows. I'm going to go ahead and do this look with those shadows. And, yeah, I know you're going to like it. Because I like it. So, for my brow highlight, I'm going to go into a shade called Champagne. Um, Bella Champagne. And I'm going to put that under... Can we see? I'm going to put that under my brow to highlight my brow. It's a very, very, very pretty champagne. But it has a hint of pink in it. Like, when I think Champagne, I think more like pearly you know but this one has um some pink in it so that's bella champagne under the eye um and then i'm going to put one maybelline item i was looking for an elf smudge pot to use as a base but they didn't have one in the color scheme i wanted so we're gonna go in with this maybelline color tattoo in a pomegranate punk and i'm gonna put that right on the lid as a base and to um, start my transition color, my blending shade, I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to go into Bella Taupe. Um, and I'm going to put that in the crease. And not all the way, not all the way across the crease. Just about two thirds. We're going to cover this with a lighter shade, but... I just like the look it gives when I layer the shades. So, should I zoom in a little bit? Let's see. There we go. So, taking Bella Taupe, and I'm gonna again put in the crease about two thirds. I'm not going all the way in. Again, I'm gonna cover the shade with something else, but. I like the way it looked when I layered them on. Alright, so on the lid, I'm going to take this beautiful pinky here. It's called Bella Rouge. And I'm going to put that all over the lid. These shades work really. One thing about these Milani shades, I suggest you invest in them. Because while they're, they're beautiful, like I'm putting this on with a brush, they're amazing working with your fingers. Like I can do a full look just using my fingers with these. And I was thinking about doing that challenge, the no brushes challenge. Um, I know Emily Noel 83 did it. I don't know if it's a tag. I think someone commented and suggested it. I don't know if it's a tag or what, but I like that idea. But if and she used cream shadows because they're easier to blend, but you could definitely blend with these powder shadows. I actually did a look using my fingers. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm putting this up. I'm going to push it up into the crease a bit. Like, I'm going to push it up a little higher than the lid. See here? Just like that. Push it up. 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 All right. And then, over top of the Bella Taupe, I'm going to go in with Bella... What is it called? Cappuccino. That's this one right here. It's a matte, light brown. And I'm going to blend over the taupe and over the rouge and blend everything together. I'm going back in a little more taupe and make this part a little darker. But 
there it is in that situation now for our black of course um, we're going into Bella black down here it's a matte black and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do it in a what is this I don't want to say windshield wiper but I'm gonna put it here starting on the outer part against the tape and bring it up on the outer V it's gonna um and then fill the V in so essentially it's gonna be the outer third of your eye but just I don't know just, that's just the way I put it on and I felt like I needed to explain that for some reason <laughs> so I'm back on snapchat by the way um I don't know if I ever was on with you guys I was on snapchat but I don't know if I shared it with like my subscribers and YouTube life and things like that but I'm on snapchat CV makeup all lowercase um snap me you can ask me questions hit me up it's a quick fast thing so I don't mind so we're gonna bring it into about a third of the way and really make it smoky on the outer part and blend it out you guys see there um if you need to you can add some more Bella Rouge over top of the yeah like that all right so while we still have our eyes there we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put on our liner the liquid liner that I use um is where is it Candace all right the NYX liquid black liner there is a ton of liners from the drugstore elf makes a good one jordana makes great ones nyx has a lot of liquid black liners this is the plain liquid black i just bought the matte liquid black they have a vinyl liquid black they have a white liner great collection of liners um again jordana elf there's a lot of great liquid liners from the drugstore but these are my favorite right now all the ones i named are favorites but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start our wings not that serious but you know they never match up I don't know, it's not a good thing to pull on your eye, but. Did I get it? That's as good as it's gonna get, you guys. That's as, that's as good as it's gonna get. All right, and then we're going to, you know, go to the inner corner. And actually what I did, I actually extended it a little bit, made it pointy, which I thought was really cute. Then I bumped it and messed it up, so I just didn't do it, but. Feel free to add that element to your look. <laughs> so there's our liner. Um, and then on the waterline, we're going to go super black, super smoky black, super black, super black, black, black. And we're going to use the best drugstore liner um, for your waterline. This is the Rimmel Scandalized. It is waterproof, and this is in plain black. They have a sparkle black. They have different colors, but I'm using the black. I'm using the plain black. And I'm going to go ahead and pile it in my waterline and lower Alright, and then I'm going to go in with a small smudge brush, a little baby smudge brush, and I'm going to just top the liner, the pencil liner, with black shadow. Got a brain fart there. And just make it look a little smokier, a little nicer. You guys know. These shadows, when used with a finger, have no fallout, and when used with a brush, have very, very little. Like see my cheek like there's a little bit there but nothing I can't just swipe with my brush so so what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some mascara um the two mascaras that I'm using today you know Maybelline is my favorite mascaras like from the drugstore curl my lashes well I didn't curl this lash I won't curl this one but curl your lashes I'm using the elf volume plumping mascara first and then I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal voluminous carbon black and then the lashes I'm going to apply my favorite drugstore lashes were well I have a ton of favorite lashes but the 614s I was gonna wear salon perfect but you guys know I just discovered a new lash that I love from the drugstore this is the Ilor um, Vegas Nay lashes Vegas Vegas Nay by Ilor and this is specifically the style shining star there's like two more styles that I have but I'm gonna wear these today so I'm gonna go ahead and put the mascara on and the lashes okay so this is uh, like I said full glam so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to bronze 
contour blush and highlight so I was looking for bronzers that um really 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 complimented my skin and um, they were right in my collection all the time I'm gonna use the city colors desert treasures bronzer and this is in the shade sandstorm and I'm gonna take a oh give me a second to reach a large brush and I'm gonna put that right where I will put contour but really I still am gonna contour but All right, on to contour. Um, ooh, I'm gonna make it a little serious today. This is the NYX favorite, NYX contour palette, contour and highlight palette. This is the shade I contour with. Um, I've used the other ones, but this one is the most stark in the sense of like Kim K contour situation. So that's what I'm gonna use today to contour my cheekbones. For blush, I'm going to wear two. The two blushes I'm going to wear, this is the Milani Rose Powder Blush. These are great. Um, this is the shade Tea Rose. And then I'm going to top it, if I can get it open. Okay. And then I'm going to top it with the Wet n Wild Blush in whatever, Mellow Wine. So I'm going to go ahead and put those two on my cheeks. For highlight, I'm going to use the Milani Baked Blush, and this is in Rose Dioro. It's a baked powder blush, but way too light for me for a blush, but perfect for a highlight. And that is the face look we're gonna go ahead really quick we're gonna go to lips um, I'm not a big lip liner person so I don't want really to have favorite drugs to a lip liner but we're gonna go ahead and I was gonna do a serious nude but I want a little color in it I'm gonna use this Milani lipstick favorite drugs to lipstick Maybelline is number two um this is in the shade matte darling so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my lips And while it's beautiful like that, I'm going to top it with some nude gloss. This is the Milani Brilliant Shine Lip Glosses. These beat NYX lip, Mega Shine Lip Glosses as my favorite lip glosses from the drugstore. And this is the shade Bare Secret. So I'm going to put that over top of my lipstick. And 
And there you have it. Setting sprays from the drugstore are scarce, but the ones that are there are good. The hard candy one, the L'Oreal one, the NYX one, the ones that are there are pretty good. I'm going to go ahead since it's already out and it is my favorite from the drugstore. Uh, it's in line with NYX, but this is the L'Oreal Infallible. And I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with it. And there you are. I hope you guys enjoyed this all drugstore super dramatic look. Let me know what you think. Leave comments down below of any other ideas. I am going to do a, like I said, an one brain tutorial coming up soon. Um, just put other videos, I, video ideas down because when you guys put the video ideas down, I write them down. So this one was requested and it's a great idea and I'm glad I got a chance to do it. So let me know what you think and I will talk to you guys in the next video. I love you.